Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we have a surprise video. The GTX 1050 Ti just leaked and it's looking pretty bad, actually. Over on videocards.com, they say someone from the Chinese website, Chip Hell, got a hold of a physical GTX 1050 Ti and box, and now we have all the info on the card if this proves to be true. Anyway, we have a few photos here and a GPU-Z screenshot showing that there are in fact 768 CUDA cores like what we learned from previous leaks and we also have 4GB of VRAM, a GPU clock of 1354MHz, a boost clock of 1468MHz, and a memory clock of 1752MHz. Again, we see that SLI is disabled on this card just like the GTX 1060 if I recall correctly. And this model in particular will use a 6-pin power connector, but apparently it will not be on every model. So we have another card that can be slapped into any pre-built, yay. We get a Fire Strike Ultra score of 1895 overall and a graphics score of 1853, and we also have this Time Spy score. For reference, the average Fire Strike Ultra score I could come up with for the GTX 960 is 1692, and the GTX 950 is at 1164. To be fair though, the 960 scores that I used ranged from about 1600 to 2000 points, but since we have only a single pre-release card with beta drivers doing this well, I think it's likely that this card will end right on or around GTX 960 performance wise. The last part of the video cards article shows a picture of the clock speeds of the GPU at different times and the core clock hits all the way up to 1800 at times but sticks around 1790 under 100% load. This could mean that it overclocked similarly to the GTX 1060 with GPU Boost 3.0 and that it may adjust its boost clock depending on what you're doing. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Just following what Anantech said here. But is this impressive or not? My opinion, it's not. I already estimated pretty much this would happen in an earlier video, so I'm not surprised, but it does seem that the 1050 Ti could play off as a higher clock 950, and that's just not good enough when we had cards like the GTX 1066 gig jump up two whole tiers of performance, completely skipping the 970 of the previous gen and matching or even beating the 980 in most games. The 1070 also jumped over the 980 and even beat the 980 Ti performance wise and now we have here the 1050 Ti. Maybe it will beat the 960 with stock clocks. Maybe not. I think the only reason we're getting the 1050 Ti and 1050 at these performance levels is because Nvidia is already being everything AMD has. Just listen. The RX 480 came out. Crazy powerful card for only about $240. Then the 1060 comes out for $10 more and beats it single handedly in DX11 and nearly matches it in non-AMD bias DX12 titles, the 470, also beat by the 1063 gig. And lastly, the RX 460 can't even beat the GTX 950 in DX11, but it does, however, win in DX12. Rant over, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is that you should not buy this GPU if your current GPU is a GTX 960 or 950. This is looking to be a marginal upgrade at worst before overclocking. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you're having trouble picking your first GPU, go ahead and check out one of my videos here on that. Real helpful stuff, I think. Subscribe and like this video to show your support, and again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.